In this video, we will find the eigenvalue of a matrix. For example, we take this matrix A, that is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now, we, from the characteristic equation, we get that determinant of A minus lambda I, that is equals to 0. Here, lambda is the eigenvalue and I is the identity matrix. Okay. So, for this, first of all, we have to find A minus lambda I this matrix so that's equals to the value of the a matrix that is this one so put this matrix there 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 okay minus lambda into the identity matrix is like this 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 okay and that's equals to 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 minus we multiply the lambda with the matrix so it becomes lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda okay now we have to subtract these two matrix so the final matrix becomes minus lambda 1 0 1 minus lambda 1 0 1 minus lambda okay thus we get the matrix a minus lambda i okay now for the characteristic equation we have to find the determinant of a minus lambda i so the determinant of a minus lambda i that's equals to the determinant of this matrix so determinant of lambda 1 0 1 minus lambda 1 0 1 minus lambda so we have to find the value of this determinant for this we expand it by the first row so that is minus lambda lambda square minus 1 plus 1 0 minus of minus lambda plus 0 expanding it by the first row okay that's equals to minus lambda taken common lambda square minus 1 and plus lambda okay that's equals to lambda cube minus plus lambda plus lambda that's equals to minus lambda cube plus 2 lambda okay now from this we see that determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 so this one is equal to 0 for this this value equals to 0 okay so we get that minus lambda cube plus twice lambda equals to 0 now we take minus lambda common from these two terms so it becomes minus lambda square minus 2 that's equals to 0 okay and from this lambda into lambda square minus 2 that's equals to 0 and from this lambda equal to 0 or lambda square minus 2 equal to 0 and from this one we find that lambda plus square root 2 into lambda minus square root 2 that equals to 0 and for this lambda has a value like plus minus root 2 okay thus all total we get three values of lambda that is 0 plus root 2 and minus square root 2 and these three are the eigenvalues of the given matrix a